hello to you all. Um, I'm just going to check uh, that I'm live. Please just bear with me. <laughs> Okay, so um, good evening, half past six here in the UK um, and uh, I think all day I've been feeling into um, whether to do a live today to try and give um, an overall context of um, the, the mass collective timeline we're in that people will relate to in terms of individual experiences they are having as well as uh, what they're witnessing in other people outside of them. Um, a little bit nervous doing this live because I've decided to break with my typical posts and my typical lives which are generally to help uplift you even though that is my intention to give you understanding uh, contextual understanding of the bigger picture I'm also going to be talking about subjects that I don't usually talk about um, so just to quickly explain the first part of my awakening from 2012 until March 2023 if you like my my service um, my guidance to anybody that resonated was from myself to help raise the frequency of humanity that was my job from 2012 to March 2023 and then March 2023 I actually exited and a new aspect came in and I have that new soul mission which I nurture and I'm still nurturing and so my mission has has actually changed because I'm in a soul mission too um, so what I'm trying to share there the only thing I'm trying to share there is that first part of my support to you all was to always try my best to help up uplift your energy frequency because that was my job okay for that reason there were always subjects that I wouldn't talk about to you um, because they're not necessarily uplifting subjects and yet uh, the things that I've become aware of, things that I've learned over these ten and a half years within myself um, and I just feel that if I explain some subjects that I don't usually talk about to you it may possibly help you through these times and that's my reason for sharing um, it may also help you with understanding for people outside of you or understanding for yourself and help you with discernment especially if you're newly awakened okay so all of this is really in context to the incoming energies we received two days ago wow and still wow because we're all experiencing them in one way or another every single one of us is so that's what it's in context to today as well as the bigger picture the mass collective timeline meaning some of you will remember that in March this year I shared a post that explained from my very own perspective and my style of awakening that we are all now in the collective timeline I call tribulation I won't go into that today if you want to know about tribulation read a bible okay but read beyond the words 
feel beyond the words that we used in those times to explain tribulation. I've been I've been shown it this year. I was aware of it from January through to March that we were approaching the timeline of tribulation in a mass collective timeline and that it's going to last about three years. So that's the context. It has direct bearing to humanity and the various experiences people are having particularly since May this year when we came into an intensity and subtly that intensity has gone up and up and up slowly and incrementally with the incoming energies that have been coming in and rising and raising and raising in frequency hertz and then we had the energy of two days ago I don't know about you but before that energy hit it I, I know a lot of people sensed it. it it was a sensing that something's gonna happen but you didn't know what it was it was almost like an energetic inside of you that had this sort of well it's, something's gonna happen and sometimes I discard that and think well no you know be, be realistic <laughs> but but it was this almost anticipation feeling that something was going to happen and then we had an incredible energetic bearing in mind these energies have been raising and raising and raising for years now but we had an incredible surge of energy two days ago and everyone is feeling it in their own way bearing in mind that we're all on our own sine wave so when I'm in, in, you know, the height of my sine wave, somebody else could be in the low of their sine wave. So I could feel, you know, as high as a kite and another person could be feeling very low, uh, depressed, upset, uh, sad, emotional, etc. Okay, so we don't all feel the same as each other because we're always on our own sine wave, three day cycle but I've talked about that in the past okay so every time bearing in mind energy incoming energy is 24 7 it never stops it never stops I feel it every day all day in my body but I feel the differences and I can understand the the, the patterns but bear in mind that as heightened energetics come into the planet it's having the long-term effect of raising the energetic frequency of human beings it's a slower process but the long-term effect is that people and their bodies are evolving into a different evolutionary stage a higher consciousness where the cells of their body spin faster I'm not going to go into all of that process I'm trying to keep to the point <laughs> if I can <laughs> if I ever do um, so how, how incoming energy affects everybody is differently. Um, it, it, it's so different. But what I want to show you is, is what I point to as a little analogy for years now is, is like a set of weighing scales, okay, in terms of incoming energy. So if we imagine that this pen is the scales yeah that go up and down or, or it could be like um, a seesaw yeah in in a children's playground when when the energies come in ultimately speaking in the in a greater picture sense 
It's designed to incrementally raise our frequency individually. So what that means, if this is, if this is, now let's do this side because I'm back to front. If this is the higher frequency, what it's doing to the human being and ultimately their consciousness in the long term way is it's raising their frequency. Can you see? So this is the scales, the weighing scales. It's raising the frequency of humanity. But look what's happening the other side. As we raise in energetic frequency and we become higher and higher consciousness, look what happens to this opposite side. So we're in a polarity field. Look what happens. So what this signifies, this lower frequency becomes exaggerated. What it's doing is bringing up the lower density energetics within humanity. So we're raising in frequency as a collective, incrementally, one by one, individually. But if, which there is obviously, any density is going to be seen. It's becoming more intensified. Any lower frequency is becoming more intensified. So we're getting lighter and lighter and lighter and higher in Hertz. But at the same time, this is parallel going on. This is the weighing scales that I mean. There's a parallel going on. It's bringing up all the density, all the lower vibrations that are still existing within humanity. Now it's been doing that for a long time, for at least since 2015. But we're in the time of tribulation. So massive increase in incoming energy that's been accruing and accruing for years a massive increase of energy to our bodies that can be difficult to handle difficult to deal with difficult for the body the physical vessel difficult for the mind but at the same time it's showing all of the lower density it's bringing it up within anyone and everyone that has any lower vibrational uh, programming should we call it just to give it a general name it's heightening it can you see I, I hope that makes sense because I'm now going to go into detail on the variance of either what may happen to yourself or what may be happening to people outside of you, whether that's friends, whether that's family, and whether that is awakened people that are awakened, as well as I'm gonna talk about the unawakened. Okay, so I just use my next tool, <laughs> which is a ruler. Okay, I've used this before. Uh, This is, oh, where are we? This is center point right in the middle of the ruler. Okay. This is center point. This is balance. This is neither this or that. It's peace, balance, awareness. Okay. This is a scale in this analogy of denoting emotions that are frequency based. I've said all of this before, but I'm going to say it again because it's probably been a couple of years since I have said this. So all of this is going to denote a scale 
of energetics that humanity calls emotions. All emotions are, are energy in your body of a particular frequency. And then human beings label how they feel as emotions. So in a way, emotions don't ultimately exist. What you're feeling is energy in your body and then you're labeling it. And that's when we get these emotions, yeah, of, <clears throat> you know, depressed, um, sad, lonely, um, frustrated, nervous, anxiety, fear-based, anger, violence, darkness, shadow, entity, etc. And then on the opposite side, because we're in this polarity field as a human being, <clears throat> but on the opposite side of that center point, you've got happy, and this is in no particular order, by the way, you've got happy, excited, peaceful, blissful, ecstasy, uh, it, you know, you can understand what I'm saying. So this is the polarity of emotions. So based on the incoming energies, the reason I'm explaining that is that <clears throat> these energies are coming into our body. They've got a very, very high spin they have to be integrated into the cells and they are throwing some people out okay not everybody but they are creating an unstable emotional state um, whether that is stress it could easily be stress it could be anxiety um, and it really just depends on the personality and what aspects are prominent within each personality so some people can suppress their emotions and just feel it quietly inside themselves and some people can um, shout it out loud and you know onto people um, it, it just depends on the personality and there's no judgment there because everybody chose their personalities at a soul level to experience through so um, it is that um, some people and I'm going to list the type of um, experiences that can be witnessed outside of you as well as experiences that could be happening within people okay so because of the intensity of the energies that came in two days ago some people can feel an uplift, an excitement, uh, a surge, ecstasy, bliss, um, positivity. Okay. But some people will feel uncomfortable where their emotions are heightened bearing in mind that emotions arise due to the thoughts that go through the mind. So whatever thought we have as a human being, it then creates an energy within our body that we label as an emotion. So to watch the thoughts, to watch what you're thinking, because that results in an emotion. If you think happy thoughts, you're going to feel happy, simple, right? If you think depressing thoughts, you're going to feel depressed. If you are angry inside yourself, you're going to feel angry. It all depends on the thoughts, the stories that are running through the mind. That's why it's always, you know, I always try to teach to observe the self, observe the mind, and then you can master the mind, and then the mind isn't running you. But nevertheless, it's just this compassion 
this absolute compassion that these energies are affecting everybody differently and some people are going to spin out they're going to get over emotional but the thing is with the human personality is that when we are in our emotions submerged in our emotions we're in it so in in that moment there's no coming out of it until those emotions subside and then if we're wise we will review our own self and the emotions that we have experienced if if we're wise yeah so there's that level i'm going to use this this ruler now uh i'm going to use it this way to denote what we call 4d okay and because i re you know my path is energy understanding energy feeling energy uh literally it's an energetic state okay uh i feel the frequencies literally and, and can change frequency at will so that's my path and that's why i'm talking about 4d in terms of frequency okay not people but in terms of frequency and and if we said that the whole of this ruler okay is 4d okay and let's say that up here is it's a scale within 4d in my perspective it's just my style how i how, how i teach myself but the scale within 4d there's about 10 stages there's there's 4.9 at the top here and then there's 5d so there's 4 4.9 4.8 4.7 4.6 4.5 4.4 4.3 4.2 4.1 4 and that's 4d that's the awakening point yeah okay so emotions can be felt at any degree up to all the emotions where emotions can run the human being yeah they're in control of the human being those emotions can be felt all the way all the way up to about 4.9 and so what I'm going to do is give you categories of what is playing out in the illusion right now at a heightened intense way so that you can discern maybe yourself maybe just discern what is outside of you so you can have a greater understanding of what's playing out in a collective way due to the fact that we're in the timeline of tribulation what is surfacing you know because because of this because of the the um, weighing scales where the energies are heightening but it's showing up the density it's bringing up the shadow aspects of people that are awakened but with intensity so the shadow which i spoke about in a previous video a few weeks ago you can check it out on youtube if you need to learn about the shadow we all have it we all came in with the experience of the light side of us plus the shadow and i've explained that before but what these energies are bringing up to clear to get shut of to be seen with such an intensity is the shadow aspects that are remaining within the vastness of humanity so a lot of shadow is coming out not just within the awakened uh, sorry within the unawakened but also within the unawakened uh, a, a friend recently said to me uh, that their awakened friends was upset because unawakened people were happy and can you see that even just that tiny thing and awakened people are upset that unawakened people are happy what's not being seen 
is the judgment of the one that's awake. Why are they upset to see another person happy? So what these energies are doing is bringing up in an intense, blatant way that has to be seen. And it, it, it has to be seen from the person that is running it and it's seen by the people outside of them in a very, very blatant way. And it's being brought up, the shadow is being brought up simply because it's got to go. It's got to go because there's a surge going on. There's a surge of a rise that's going on in terms of the greater picture. It's always this, it's always we're rising and at the same time that that lower density that is within us has got to go. It's got to be seen. It's got to play out. And it's only seen as, by it being played out. Do you see? So there's a lot of shadow coming up within Unawakened, but also, also within the awakened community. And so you're seeing an intensity outside of you of shadow aspects. Um, so now I'm going to go into some of the subjects that I've never spoken about because of my intention was always to help raise the frequency of humanity but I feel that by speaking about it it will hopefully just encourage discernment not just to anyone outside of you, but also to yourself, is um, if we go here again to 4D, okay, there's the baseline of 4D and then there's 4.1 and 4.2, okay. 4.2 is where the astral realm and dark energies reside out of that scale. That's where they thrive. That's where fear thrives at 4.2 of 4D. So darker energies are the ones, are, are energies that wish to create fear, that wish to control, that absolutely lie. Um, that manipulate and it's fair to say that within this 4D realm there are people choosing to be that okay we need to be clear we need to be honest and say that there are people that are wanting to control humanity and the, these are awakened people as well as unawakened people but i'm talking about the awakened right now there are there are people that know they come from the desire to control that wish to create fear within the awakened community and that will will lie in order to gain that control okay um, I hope I'm making sense. <laughs> it's just, uh, I'm now going to talk about a subject that I've never spoken about. So a little bit nervous in a way, because it, it, it's not, it's not what I focus on. And yet it's something I have knowledge of, um, just through experience <clears throat> over the years and also confusion about this subject over the years. So I'm going to talk about what people call entities, what the awakened community call entities. If you go back to biblical times, they would call them demons. Okay. So again, if we go back to the 4D, if a person, first of all, what is an entity? 
<clears throat> an entity is an energy that can only reside in the frequency of 4.2 or lower. It can't rise any higher unless it chooses to change its frequency. And if it chooses to change its frequency, if that entity wishes to be uh, a part of the experience of, say, the 5D, then it's going to have to go higher and higher and higher and higher in its frequency. In which case, by the time it gets here, it's love, peace and harmony. So it's no longer a threat. It's no longer giving fear out. It's no longer controlling. <clears throat> so an entity... can actually utilize and drop in to a human being that is in fear, that is in suffering. The people that can receive unknowingly an entity within them will be people that either are extremely sort of vacant, meaning they don't really think about anything, uh, they're not mindful, they haven't got their eye on the ball, that's probably the best way to describe it, so they're quite vacant in their mind, so they can be taken advantage of in unawareness and that entity will drop in. The other way an entity can use a human vessel is if that person is in extreme fear or trauma. So that person is operating at a three frequency of 4.2 or lower, you know, or lower. which is the perfect frequency for that entity to drop in to that fear and take over the vessel. Excuse me a sec. Now, in the moment that that entity chooses to use that vessel, that human being, in the very moment it's happening, the person is unaware of it. So it's almost like the person gets removed and the entity takes over and then creates fear, 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 control, control uh, to the outside. Um, I, I do hope I'm making sense. The way for any person to, to remove that entity is to increase their own energetic frequency and and you know focus on that take your time with it but raise your frequency because dark energies cannot exist higher than 4.2 okay because at 4.5 the person that's awakened that's when they start to become mentally aware of their energetic field and then they take their journey from 4.5 up and it can take years to embodying their energetic field and at the same time that they're embodying their energetic field they're embodying their soul and they're embodying their soul and they're embodying their soul and it, it takes time but at, but at this level they haven't embodied their energetic field or their soul at 4.2 and that's the frequency. It's it's the astral planes. It's why, you know, it's it's always wise to be very discerning if you meditate and choose to go into the astral planes. Because whilst you can be focusing on something beautiful, something bright, something of light in front of you, if you're meditating and in the astral planes, there could be an energy behind you that you have no idea is there. And it, it, it's dropping in to utilize your body. The other way an entity can uh, take over is by um, a particular, I'd say a particular, I don't know which, but a form of hypnosis. So there are, there are things in the world, there are practices in this world, in this field of polarity, there are practices that uh, 
seem to be uh, or, or would be outward looking as seeming to be of good, of good intention to help a person. But what's really happening behind the scenes is they're wanting to take from that person as, as a spiritual practice. Uh, we're, you know, we're talking about dark medicine here, by the way, just to keep it in context. So, so they're purposely um, a dark energy and they will, they will utilize people in their innocence under hip hypnotism or meditation and in that vulnerability that the person is in, in, in a hypnotized state or, or meditational state, that's when an entity can then come in and get attached to the person and, and the person will have absolutely no idea about that. Um, you know, I say all this about entities for the very first time, but I'm just going to share my journey with it, which was a struggle for me to know my perspective and the truth that I personally came to about it. And, and hopefully if I explain this, you'll know why, why I'm coming from, from this point at the moment is, you know, when I woke, I had no idea all of that stuff existed. And then of course you hear about it and you don't know whether to believe it or not. But then I started getting learning dreams, um, showing me entities within people. So it was then I started to think, oh, it's true. But then because of my path, you know, 2018, feeling the essence of God within me and practicing early stages of seeing and connecting to the essence of God outside of me and quite new to it as that evolved from 2018 onwards I started to understand within me that everything was God I knew everything was God because of my own embodiment process and awareness within me I literally knew that everything was God so I became confused within me because I thought, well, if everything's God, then it, entities and darkness can't exist. So that's just, you know, mumbo jumbo. It's not true, I thought. So I thought I was wrong, that my learning dreams were wrong. until this year so for years now I've just felt no everything is God I remember I was in London once this is a digression but it, it's just a nice little story just because <laughs> it's not a subject I enjoy talking about in terms of entities so I'll just break for a minute and tell you a lovely little story when I was in London a few years ago uh, with some friends and uh, it was at night and uh, we were dancing and I went outside for fresh air and all over the street on the floor was just litter and bottles and cups and rubbish. It was just everywhere, all over the street. And it really upset me. And I just stood, I wanted to go out to be on my own, to come into awareness. And I stood there on the street looking at this rubbish everywhere on the, on the road. And I said to God, why does it have to be this way? Why does there have to be so, so much rubbish and, you know, just throwing it in the street? It really upset me. And then an energy spoke to me and it said, I've shown, I've shown you this because I want you to see all of me, not just the beautiful part 
and that that really made me realize that God is within everything everything there's nothing that God is not within um, but going back to my journey related to entities and the utter confusion I've gone through for years with it knowing that people say this and people say that outside of me and yet I know that the only way I can learn is from within me I can't believe anything outside of me I have to know it from within me until this year and I had a very clear learning dream and it was Jesus that came and he just said a few words and his words were exactly we have to okay we have to face the demons left and right we have to face the demons left and right now demons isn't a word I use at all so I knew that from that dream I was being taught something I was being asked to become stronger and instead of you know running away from confrontation or uh, staying quiet uh, you know when somebody puts you down or, or is unkind what, what he was really pointing to was his gifts that he had when he was here and that you can't just ignore darkness you can't just ignore entities that can utilize a human vessel so I knew from just receiving this very unexpected learning dream that I was to go away and research Jesus's life and by doing so I found that in the Bible Jesus's abilities were to rid a very innocent human being of in those times what were called demons which in modern day we call entities and then I found because I researched further that if you look up it the Indian teachings I found that it, the gentleman who who has passed called Yogananda said exactly the same teaching about entities as Jesus exactly the same so I realized through my own research knowing that I this was something that I was supposed to understand and it was time to understand it I found that there was Jesus and there was Yogananda two different teachers who said exactly the same thing that energies within this duality within this polarity can take advantage of innocent people who are in a lower frequency and can just utilize their bodies so from that moment on I knew that it, it was not a case to just you know it, it, it was a time where I had to uh, up my game if you like I don't like that phrase but um, step up more become stronger and many years ago it, again it was Jesus that said to me you need to become strong for the times ahead and I wasn't strong I was too soft too heart based so I never liked you know the confrontations or I'd always stay quiet if if there was any confrontation outside of me so 
strong, become strong for the timelines ahead. It's these times. It's the time of tribulation, which is going to last, I think, roughly speaking, the three years. That's what it seems at the moment. So in other words, you know, we're in a longer timeline period that has to play out over linear time sort of slowly and what you're going to see outside of you and and especially since the energies of two days ago is you're gonna you're gonna notice that this uplift in energy uh, which is you know if we look at this the uplift in energy is 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 going to raise people's frequencies they're going to have more um, energetic abilities that they will start to come online slowly and slowly they have more cognizance more awareness more, more of the magic this is all going to come in slowly 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 through this period of tribulation okay over this three-year period there's going to be a massive rise in people's abilities and consciousness but at the same time look what's playing out can you see look what has to be seen is all that density has to be seen for the people for, for to choose do they still wish to play that game or or do they choose love do they choose love so again back to you know information i've received in the past it's almost like i can see i've been quietly prepared for this time of tribulation that i had no idea was coming but i was shown a surge of energy coming in and that in those times there would be nothing we could really do you know loosely speaking because there's always little things we can do to help people but if a person outside of you goes into you know an imbalance for instance it, it it's it's a period they're going to go through within this three-year period of tribulation some people are going to feel emotionally you know, distressed, shall we call it, in various degrees. Some people are not going to. Then there will be people that aren't necessarily, you know, that, that there'll be people that are going through their emotions and, and finding their emotions difficult to deal with. Yes, okay, that's, that's kind of like one scale. But there will be people that completely spin out that will go into a completely imbalanced state and they won't know they're in an imbalanced state they'll have no awareness of it they'll think that everything is fine okay and i was shown this uh two years ago that this is going to happen and and for those people that completely f flip out Okay, they've chosen that as soul level to have that experience, to go into that temporary experience of, of spinning out completely in the time of tribulation. That They've chosen that. And so there won't be anything we can do to, to help get that person out of it. At the same time, the darkness, if you like, if you want to call it darkness, but the lower frequencies that seek to control are going to seek to control even more, whether that is governments, societies, countries, family, friends, yeah, it, it, across the whole spectrum, and people in the spiritually awakened community, including those two. And then they're going to be the entities that take advantage of any fear, any low vibration and that's going to come up within certain people and those people will have no idea in that moment that that's what it is that's running them okay now you know why have i come on to say this today because it, it's just trying to help you see the the bigger picture 
sorry about the light i'll I just uh change this because i can see there's a bang going across okay it, it's just to try and help you see the bigger picture of what you might be experiencing yourself or what you might be witnessing within other people whether they're awakened or unawakened um, just in the last week I've been aware myself and you know speaking to friends as well there's a great awareness right now with people that do teach that they're being completely targeted by awakened people I've been absolutely targeted this week where I've been a where it's been apparently said publicly that I'm an AI and that uh, I will be terminated if I don't go through uh, God's needle so can you imagine what it's like when you've spent your awakening trying to support people and then you hear of a being outside of you who is awakened saying that I will be terminated and that I am AI you know these are the times we're in and so it's going to play out in an intensity whether that is the world stage or whether that is within family or within the spiritual arena and there's just this choice you can give energy to the intensity you can give energy to darkness you can you know you can feed that darkness you can feed entities or you can feeding is is giving the person attention okay if you're giving that person attention you're feeding them and that's exactly what they want um, th there's a beautiful film about this I can't think what it's called um, I can't forget. if I remember I'll put it in the comments um, but it's actually a magical film that that describes this I'll ask a friend because I know it was her that that mentioned it to me many years ago um, but but all darkness wants is to feed it wants to feed on your fear it wants to create fear within you create uncertainty within you um, it, it wants you to to choose uh, to fight yeah to stay in separation which is this versus that okay that's choosing sides that's duality and and people will choose that by the way it's this whole diverse design okay so it's just to allow in a way the design of the time of tribulation which is God's design there's nothing you know we can't control God's design it is what it is but you can choose yourself you have the power of choice to just choose for yourself and just to be aware that people outside of you are absolutely going to be in suffering they are going to feel bad they are going to feel depressed they are going to struggle with their bodies there's all sorts so we can have so much compassion but also is to have compassion for the people that do spin out to have compassion and to give love only love to um, the people that are choosing the darkness choosing the control if to to call it out to say no but to give love to stay in your heart the moment you come out of your heart the moment you come out of a state of love the moment you go into defense okay look what's happened you're feeding you're giving that energy that dark energy exactly what it's wanting yeah because you're lowering your vibration so it's it it you know I've researched it in terms of Jesus I've researched it in terms of Yogananda and and you know I, I will go by that it's just to rebuke it to call it out to say no 
but but to do so from love and stay in your hearts and not be affected by it the moment you're affected by it the moment you go into argument you're giving them energy you're feeding them and that's what they want so to just please be in awareness and discernment not just for now not just for next week this is a timeline I'm talking about over the next two and a half years I guess remaining because it really started in March this timeline of tribulation and it plays out slowly but just know that as that the that any lower energies it's it's coming up in the timeline of tribulation because it has to be seen and those people get to choose and that's their choice nothing we need to do about that it's just about your choice and just as all of that energy is coming up to the surface to be seen at the same time we're rising in energy through our choice through our hearts through the choice to be loved through the choice to serve all through the choice to love all to choose unity to choose a world of peace to choose a world where everybody is catered for, loved and cared for. That's what we're choosing. We're choosing a different type of being for this world. A different way for the whole of humanity that we haven't seen for thousands of years. And that's why we're here. And we can make that choice if we want to. And we do so by focusing our own gain not feeding what still wishes to remain which is 3d and lower 4d the thing i absolutely love about god's design i was shown as consciousness uh in 2014 or 13 i can't remember when but i was stood in my room and the whole room changed and my consciousness came out of my body and flew over the whole of the duality field that I call the labyrinth. And then I received download and download and data and data about how it worked. And the beauty of this labyrinth, okay, if these are dimensions, is that there are seals. There are energetic seals at each level, 3D, 4D, 5D, 6D, etc. There's energetic seals. And the what it does is it safeguards the layer above it. So in terms of negative, controlling, manipulating, entities, all of that, they can only play at 4.2 in that frequency of 4D. That's the only place they can live and play. That's what I love about God's design. God allowed a certain degree. It allowed for the darkness to be in order to provide contrast. But the beauty is it doesn't exist in 5D and above. It's energetically sealed. And the only way to enter 5D, 60 is, is by matching the frequency of it, you see. And that's the beauty of God's design. Those energetic seals that are in place within the labyrinth, it protects the layers above. So, I don't know if this has helped. It's been, um, you know, a strange one for me to do because, as I say, my first job on my first stage of awakening was to help just raise the frequency of humanity you know even if it was just one person that would be job done but that's been my aim um it it, it you know my, my purpose is changing um which you know i don't need to talk about but, but it's just been a little bit hard for me to to talk about things that I don't normally talk about but because of my love for you because I care about you so much 
because I care about your well-being, each and every one of you. It's just to try and give you a greater awareness of this longer time period and a greater awareness of, oh, okay, where's that person coming from? And where's that person coming from? If you have that knowledge, if you have that awareness, then it's going to help you navigate your life and, and the time ahead for you. You know, when you have more awareness, it is like you have more choice. And you can choose in every moment what to give your energy to and you know what serves you what expands you what helps increase your energy frequency because you can feel it you can always feel in any conversation whether your energy feels like it's rising or whether your energy feels like it's contracting and going lower and lower and lower and that is your navigation system that's your gauge energy is always the gauge and, and I hope that makes sense. Okay, sending you love. And um, please disregard anything I've said if it doesn't resonate for you. Okay, it's just one perspective. And there's so many, so many. There's 8 billion perspectives. So please just let it go if it's not for you. I pray you do. Okay, God bless and take care, everybody. Um, I love you. And I'll always love you. God bless. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.